Hey there, and welcome to the Jim Bob Drawing Show, where we draw cartoons and art just for fun. My name is Bobby Chu. And I'm Jim Bryson. All right, Jim, so let's see what the topic is for this week. So we got Timid... Punk. Timid, Timid Punk. Punk. Right on. That's a really good one, because they're kind of, they're very opposites, right? Yeah. I want to have some sort of a cute little timid character dressed up like a punk. So I thought a rabbit would be a timid creature. And then I made him a punk rocker. So I, I don't know. I put him on a stage. I was going to have all these like amps and stuff around him. But then I thought it was like kind of not so much the idea. So I decided to just have him in a spotlight to make him seem a little bit more timid. Yeah, I like how you use the rabbit too, because rabbits are definitely very timid creatures. You know, my brother had rabbits years ago, and before they were cool. He had a friend babysit them, and then they came back super timid, so I don't know what happened over there. (laughs) Easily scarred. You know, presenting things and, you know, being a rock star, being on stage with everybody looking at you is definitely a very scary experience for many people you know many people would be very timid even if they aren't normally in that kind of situation are you good in those kind of situations jim i used to be like deathly afraid of giving speeches and stuff like that when i was a kid but i kind of grew out of it i don't really care anymore i'm not too bothered by it i don't think yeah we've done a few panels together and such and you've always seemed quite natural and pretty much exactly what you're saying (laughs) i wouldn't say i'm good at it i'm just not afraid of it yes definitely seemed like you didn't care (laughs) (laughs) i was also one of those people that was very very timid I remember the first couple times talking in front of people, like presentation kind of deal where you didn't know the people, their clients or whatever. Oh, I looked fine in the front, but the back of my shirt was completely transparent probably by the time I got up. I was such a wreck. How long did it take for you to uh, overcome your fear? Yes, about eight times throwing myself into the fire and having to talk for like an hour or more. It was really the teaching thing. So, you know, if those out there are interested in getting better at speaking and stuff like that, perhaps just go out there and start teaching people art and then you'll get used to it. So you can notice I've been coloring regular colors. They didn't have any kind of influence from the purplish uh, shadow tones or anything or the spotlight being so yellow. I just did it normal tones. Then after that, then I adjusted everything to have a bit of a purplish influence. And then I did another version where it has a very bright yellowish influence. So wherever I felt the light would hit the rabbit, I would give it that yellowish influence. I would expose that version. That's so great. Instant lighting. In the end, to really tie it together, we needed a bit more influence of the yellow light coming down. So added a bit of that, added a little bit of splatter, and just blurred it so it it feels more like particles in the air kind of thing. Awesome. Timid Punk! Timid Punk! (laughs) And if you like the Timid Punk, definitely remember to subscribe to our Instagram because if you subscribe to Jim Bob Drawing Show on Instagram, you will get all the latest topics before we actually paint and draw them. You can have a chance to paint along and draw with us. After that, definitely subscribe to this channel. Subscribe right now! And then press the that way you will get instant notifications of the next time we put out a new video which will be next week and every week so see you then see ya